Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. Well, it was the Golden State Warriors in their last game, a loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And that's one they'd like to have back. A little more focus would have been enough. Just a four-point loss. Yeah, I mean, every time out, it's a learning experience to some degree. But that's not what they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. Here are the starters for Montreal. Green out there with Ilya Sova. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. Oh, and here comes Oubre all alone. Well, Kelly Oubre Jr. is especially dangerous in the open floor. Leaks out transition. Nice. Ilya Sova finds Green. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And Doris, we saw with the bubble how jarring a long break can be before the playoffs. Kevin, many coaches considered the bubble to be a brand new season. You had, in essence, last season, two training camps. And the fact that the NBA was willing and able to pull off the logistical challenges of a restart was nothing short of remarkable. From deep, Ilya Sova. And Curry pulls it down. Golden State has come out of the gates quickly. Four-point game. Good on the shot. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot-around this morning. Oubre against Green. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Oubre. And looking at Curry's stats, the one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little... And again for three. Time out, time out. And all season long, he's been nothing but Sorry. money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. And it's the Warriors ball. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Curry with a wide open look. Another three for Golden State. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And Ilyasova kicks to Green. Dinwiddie passes to Green. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Green's got five now. Well, Danny Green absolutely fearless. You can make a three. I can do the same. Oubre, good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here's Ilyasova. And too long on the shot. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Knocks it loose. Dinwiddie with the steal. Let's the three fly. That one no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. And the jam by Oubre. A spectacular finish by Oubre. He's got that air time to get creative. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Montreal. Trailing by 13. And it's the Warriors on the break. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And it's good off the back rim and in. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Got that one up quick. You know this, if you're open, you can count on Brooke Lopez to find you. He uses his height to spot open teammates. Here's Wiseman. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Wiseman's got his second basket of the game. Montreal trails by 14. Here's Poole. And another three for Montreal. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Lopez, no luck. Warriors leading by 13. Green kicks to Curry. 
score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And so it's the Golden State Warriors up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control here. Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. We've got Looney. Kent Bazemore is out there with Curry. And it's Mulder in at the two guard. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Curry against Rondo. Here's Toscano. Banked in off the glass. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. Mulder, the pass to Looney. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Here's Toscano. Brissett grabs the miss. Montreal trails by eight. Jackson from long range. And another three for Montreal. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Hammer it home! Hammer it home, baby! <laughs> that is authority right there. It was. Wow. <laughs> you know, oftentimes we talk so much in terms of Steph's scoring ability, but I tell you what, he's one heck of a floor general as well. Greg, he probably doesn't get enough credit for how he controls the pace, his ability to orchestrate the offense. He can create for himself, certainly, time out, time out. but don't sleep on his ability to create for his teammates. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Montreal calls timeout. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin intense I, I remember the first time I suited up in a preseason game we played the Dallas Mavericks both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored and the fans started booing and that's when I knew this is a little bit different uh, you better bring your A game and thicker skin correct that too yeah and fortunately there was no social media or internet back then goodness gracious <laughs> Brooks has gone three for three from the floor. Smith against Curry. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. Here's Bazemore. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Montreal shooting their first free throw of the night here. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And the pass to Wiseman. That three off the mark. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. From deep, Brooks. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Here's Mulder, guarded by Jackson. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half of the game. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Smith inside. Mulder grabs the miss. 
And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That's his first foul. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. Passes it to Green. Green with the ball. Brooks from outside. The shot comes out right back after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big time. Well, for Montreal, Kenny, give us your tip. A lot of the offense has come off the bench tonight, Ernie. And, and that's going to do it for our halftime show. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Here's Dinwiddie on the court right now for Montreal. We've got Green, Elias Silva out there with Brooks, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point. The Warriors trail. Pass to Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his third assist on the night. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Montreal. Thompson surveying the floor. And there's the foul. It goes on Ilias Oba. That is his first foul of the game. Curry against Dinwiddie. 17 foot shot on the way. Curry can't get it to go. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Shoots over Curry. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Dinwiddie's gone one of four so far. And Doris, make no mistake about it. Spencer Dinwiddie is looking to score an instant offense type of player. And Spencer Dinwiddie knows what his role is, and he plays it perfectly. He can go a little hot and cold for stretches, but he doesn't let it affect him. Dinwiddie's always going to provide that offensive punch that's so critical for you. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Curry. He gets it in there. Curry's got four points this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Montreal calls timeout. I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable. And there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. No doubt about it. And, and Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, I mean, he shoots that step-back three, but he's a guy that, because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area. C.J. McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. And I love that list. You're right on it. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Here's Rondo. And another three for Montreal. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Curry against Rondo. Pass to Baseman. Here's Toscano. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got six. He dishes it to Ilias Hope. Back to Dinwiddie. Launches it. Connects from three-point range. Now it's a seven-point Montreal lead. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. 
Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. They're not having much success at all right now. Kevin, I would shuffle the lineup if, if I were their coach a little bit just to try to find something that works. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. Fifty five seconds left in the third quarter. Now the pass to Looney. Golden State moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Toscano passes to Looney and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Strong move to the 10 trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated GA right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. And a deep three from Curry. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Curry's got 17. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Montreal leading by five. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Drills it from outside. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. They can close out the quarter if they want to. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. That one goes in. And while that jump shot has been a, a work in progress throughout his career, Rondo every now and then can get hot. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Montreal leads by seven. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. We've got Thompson. Wiseman's out there with Draymond Green. Then there's Kent Bazeman. And it's Toscano in at the three slot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. 17-foot shot on the way. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Green and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Brissette, no good on that one. Great D that time from Green. And Montreal making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Warriors trail by four. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Baysmore misses. Now the feed to Jackson. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds to Montreal. They'll retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. The Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Here's Poole. Sinks the triple. And Montreal leads by seven. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Jackson. Here's Wiseman. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Huge play on the offensive glass there to get more second-chance points. He's only getting more physical as this game wears on. 
This guy just feeds off that fourth quarter pressure in a tight game like this. That's when we can really see the kind of heart he plays with. The shot by Thompson, no good. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit, who knows, but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Smith for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Smith's got the lead up to eight now for Montreal. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Jackson from long range. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And now it's an 11-point Montreal lead. Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by 11. 130 left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Dylan Brooks. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. And with their spot in the postseason assured, he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game. Look at how confident Kelly Oubre is in the catch and shoot. You know why? Because he worked at it. Warriors trail by nine. Here's Thompson. No good with the layup. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Good on the three-point shot. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for Mike. Connects again from distance. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA now tied for third all time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Dinwiddie dishes to Lopez. Again, Montreal scores. Look, they, they've earned this victory tonight. Tough to dominate the way they did. And they just went out and executed. Give credit to the coach. Good, another from three. The threes just don't stop with him. He's been a machine from beyond the arc ever since the start of the season. Ah, he continues, doesn't he, to shoot his way up the history books and now sits solely by himself for third most threes in a season. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. And here's Green outside and another three for Montreal. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. So we see Montreal get the win here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were 